This is my dining room table. I started this a year and a half ago. It is now complete. Look at that. It's not a perfect finish, but you know what? For me, this is perfect. So this is just some, if you haven't seen some of my old boring videos on this, I kind of stopped making videos on it because it was just turning into a disaster. But I uh, persevered. So this is just cheap Home Depot pine when it wasn't an arm and a leg. Um, originally glued and pocket screwed it together, which didn't need the pocket screws. So that ended up screwing things up because if you use pocket screws enough, you understand that um, they like to pull when you put them together out of alignment. Yeah, lovely. So then I had to plane a lot. Okay. So after getting that done, decided to use wood putty. That was stupid. And then I uh, kept on going. And we tried to stain it by doing one of those weathering, weathered kind of looks, distressed. That turned into a disaster. Then I tried doing epoxy. Now, did I do epoxy? No, I never did epoxy. Until this point. So this is just a... Uh, hold on, I need a can. All right, I'm trying not to put the license plate on uh, last. Um, just, it's just for Stolium. Uh, I'm on a pro video on my phone, so it's not autofocusing. Um, this autofocus on my phone goes crazy. Uh, just for Stolium, Coastal Gray, or Smoke Gray. And then I did, uh, two coats of, uh, uh, satin on top. Gave it a good sanding. And at that point, I wanted another durable layer on top to try to protect it. And to even out the matte finish. Because you could see all my stand, sand marks and everything. I don't have a block. Um, I went all the way to uh, 2,000 grit. I did 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. And you could still see everything. I mean, I, it probably would have worked, but then I experimented a little bit. I started putting some polycrylic on top. And one thing I like about the polycrylic is that I don't really have to wear gloves with it. It cleans up with water, and it's a perfectly uh, strong finish that doesn't uh, yellow. So put it on, but you can see brush, brush marks and everything with it. I'm like, okay. Sand it down, got it smooth again. Still have the same problems. That when you go through the sanding grits and everything, it actually starts to have a nice shine to it, but it's inconsistent. Didn't like that. So what I did was experiment, and I just went for it. The polycrylic is somewhat... I don't know, forgiving? Now, word of caution. Once you put the polycrylic on, I can't spray another layer of the clear satin enamel. They are not compatible. I've learned that. That's one of the reasons why this take, this project took so long is due to the fact that, well, essentially I was mixing layers together and they started cracking. So I've gotten that straight away, straightened out, learned a lot from it. And now what are this? Now, how did I get this? pretty nice top with the polycrylic without putting brush marks in it or having to actually sand afterwards. Well, it took all day today, but I basically made wipe-on polycrylic. Now, I haven't heard about anyone trying this. Now, wipe-on poly is, nor is typical. You can go buy it if you really wanted to, but that's a waste of money. Since... Polycrylic is water-based, and like, okay, I'll just cut it with water. No. So what I wouldn't put wipe on poly as the as the only finish. I'm using it more as a refractory finish to 
give this, it's supposed to be matte, but somewhat of a clean, uniform look. So first I did half and half, just water from the hose and polyacrylic. Um, I eventually uh, diluted that even more as I went through progressive coats. So I got to this, where I was just using one of my daughter's old uh, nursing blanket, or I don't know what they're called, um, that I had laying around, started cutting it up, wipe it on, wipe it off, wipe it on, wipe it off. The thing about cutting it down and with water is that it dries even quicker. You know, it took a little, it took a little trial and error to get it right, but you know what? I'm damn impressed with how it turned out. You know, I really wish I would have gotten it on film. But, you know, rule of thumb, it's going to be a disaster if I film it. But if I don't film it, it's going to turn out okay. You know, you learn. And that's uh, the point of this channel, is to learn. I got tons of footage. I don't know if I'm ever going to upload it. We'll see. Six weeks. I get a new editing rig, or a editing rig, um, that shouldn't have me pulling my hair out, and maybe I can make some better videos. But, uh, yeah, that's this for this table. I will do probably a short for when I install it, um, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I want to give this uh, some time to cure before uh, I subject it to the uh, five-year-old who thinks she's 15. So, uh, tell me, tell me what you guys, uh, think. If you want me to go down and run down more instructions on exactly how I got this finish, um, please let me know and I'll try to, I don't know, do it from scratch on video on, like, my workbench or something. I've been meaning to, uh, paint these. I don't know. My wife says my workbench is an eyesore. Figured I'd continue to make it look better. But that's all for today. Again, thank you for your support. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe, leave a comment. And if you really like and want to support the channel, hey, give it a share. I'm hoping to get uh, a thousand subscribers. Um by the end of the year. And uh, with your support, I think I might be able to do that. Uh, I got big plans. When I say big, I mean really big. But until then, this is Andrew of the Sleepy Craftsman. Stay sleepy, my friends.